chain around the critter's neck, crank it down, put him down in there, squeeze him up like that, and then Bud crawls up on the up on top of the panels and starts talking to people. I looked over there and the steer's eyes were going yike, whoop, whoop. He was choking. I said, Bud, Bud, I made Bud, Bud. Bud didn't pay a bit of attention to me. Not one. I said, Bud, Bud, he's choking. Well, Bud just kept right on talking about how great his shoot was. And so I got a hold of John Carney, where John John's right back here, and a, and a friend, Van Nyling, I said, guys, let him out of that chute. Let him out of there, he's choking. We don't know how to let him out of there. So finally, John and Van figured out somehow how to let that choking steer. Now this guy weighs about 900 pounds, and he's choking. And, and finally, they find the right levers, the side flies open, this this green this head thing is, they finally get the chain off of his head they open up the gate and he just rolls out and looks deader than dorm that's our first show first day uh, folks that wasn't exactly what we had written down so as a veterinarian my profession is veterinary medicine i walked over and that critter was laying there and i saw him blinking his eyes i said don't worry about it folks don't worry about it he's just a little short on air God, thank God he has a blanket his life. And so finally, why Bud keeps right on and talking, and, and uh, there's people over on the other side of the chute, and besides, pretty soon that old black Angus steer says, somebody tried to kill me. He said, I'm going to try to kill them. <laughs> Honest, he, this I don't have to make this stuff up. This actually happened. Pretty soon that old steer says, it's time for me to get up and get somebody. So he starts to stand up. Now he's underneath that head gate. He upsets the chute over on the people over on that side. They're screaming and yelling. The steer's madder than hell. And I'm up here saying, I think it's time maybe somebody ought to get out of this alleyway. <laughs> he gets up. <laughs> He cleans out everybody. There ain't a soul left back here. That critter says, I'm going to kill somebody. That was our first show. Oh, man. It, uh, it, it was something great. Uh, we had a lot of fun, and I've done this for quite a few years. And, and the reason I guess they asked me is because I, as a veterinarian, I don't have a practice. I work for seven other veterinarians. And come to find out, they would send me to places they didn't want to go. Once I got there, I realized why they didn't want to go. Uh, a, a cottonwood tree and a lariat rope would have been a beautiful addition to what we were doing. I went to one place and the guy had spent at least $300,000 building a corral. This guy was really rich. He'd lined up two combines. He had three tractors. He had a bunch of pickup trucks. He had a bunch of wagons over here and that was our corral. I'm not lying. I'm not lying to you. And uh, I could go, I know, I'm like all the veterinarians, we could write a book on this thing. I got sent south of a little town in Eustis, Nebraska, out in the middle of the prairie. I mean, you stand here and you can look 360 degrees and not see anything. The guys, we're, we're, we're going to bleed some cows, we're going to get some, get some blood sample, we're going to check them for bangs. I said, well, where's the cow? He said, oh, they're over here, Doc. We go over and we kind of look over the canyon. Down in the bottom of the canyon was an abandoned house with just the basement left, and the cows were in the basement. I've never worked cows easier in my life. They wanted out of there. You could bleed those cows ten, ten a minute. Boy, they wanted out of there. And that's just some of the many projects I've got into. And the shoots back 35 years ago, oh, we had a Tico, we had a WW, we had a Palmer River. All those shoots were very basic. And a bar sticking out. I've carried guys to hospitals, knocked out from the bars and stuff. These shoots, folks, are so safe, so wonderful that you just you just can't believe how nice they really are compared to what I was working with. I got out of vet school in 1960. That's a long time ago. Anyway, uh, enough about that stuff. I want to thank John Carney. John, where are you, John? He was right where? There he is. There's the young man I've worked with for about uh, the last 30 some years at least. I've known him. I watched him grow up as a youngster in Lexington, Nebraska, in Overton area, and. Uh, John and uh, Dale, Dale's back. Dale's back there. Dale, raise your hand. There you go, Dale. David, those are the guys going to bring the cattle up to us. But, but John puts these corrals all up. He's been doing that every year and shows all over the United States. 
I don't think he'd have any idea how many of these he would set up, but it's just been hundreds of them because he comes in, sets up the corrals. The very first one, I want to tell you about the first time we had this show, that fence was right about, where do you think, John? I think that first fence was right about here, wasn't it? And there wasn't room for the cow to come out of the chute. Well, we didn't know that. <laughs> and we had kids sitting, kids sitting right here with their legs underneath the chute. After that first steer came out, we had no problem. Everybody was as far back as they could get. Uh, uh, Brian Boggs provides all the PA system for us. Uh, the Iowa State University. Well, they're, I think, what, they're Hawkeyes? No, Cyclone. Cyclone. That's all right. We're, I'm a Ram. Colorado State. You know, we, we treated Iowa State as a disease. We've got a regular shot back in Colorado State. We've got this big syringe with a big needle. That, that'll prevent you from getting that Iowa State disease. And then uh, our, our main goal, folks, is to show you safety for the cowboy and the cow. Like I tell you, I've taken people to the hospital. They've got to knock cold, the, the shoots, the levers. These shoots are designed for one thing. Number one is we don't want to injure the cow. Uh, we used to round up the buffalo out of the Black Hills, South Dakota. Their standard pieces of equipment beside the loading, beside the catching chute, number one was a welder to repair the chute because the buffalo tear it up. And the second piece of equipment was a 30 odd six. <laughs> hey, I'm not kidding you. They come in there and those buffalo hit that chute. Those calves come in there so they, 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 they're horrible fast and they break a leg or something. So we just shoot it. Along comes the guy with the forklift truck, clean him up and call, call, the, uh, call the care home. We got another critter for you to eat. Anyway, this is a safety for the livestock. Uh, you basically, there's no sharp edges on the inside for the cows to get themselves hurt or the steers. Uh, it's just great. It's also wonderful for the operator, the, the individual that's operating it. These guys can stand out here, run those hydraulic levers. They don't have to be anywhere near. Fact is, ladies, you can do just as good a job as saying it. Fact is, better than somebody. That <laughs> oh, I, the one of them came right on through. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. We forgive him. He's brand new at the game, so we'll pick on him just a little bit. Anyway, uh, what you want to know, though, folks, is a little bit about these shoots. The first shoe we're going to talk to you about is from Lorraine, Kansas, the Motley Manufacturing Company. It's called, called the Silencer, and the guy named Goo is here. Uh, Lane, tell us a little bit about the Silencer. Thanks, Doc. Uh, the shoe we got here is our Ranch Mono Wide Body. Uh, it's the lighter of the shoes that we uh, build. We also have a heavy duty, which is kind of your cow calf shoe, and a Commercial Pro, which is a feedlot shoe. They come in two lengths, they come in eight and a half foot. Where you get an 11 foot shoe, we put the palpation doors in there so we can break check, semen test bowls. Uh, all of our shoots can be made portable with trailer. All of our shoots can have scales put on them. I am located just north of the uh, building here and I would be happy to answer any of your guys' questions. Otherwise, uh, after the demo, we'll open the gates up and you're more than welcome to come back here and run our shoots and ask us any questions you have. So thank you. Just know, yep. Thanks, Riley. You know, I, I've been doing this, but you know, it's really nice. I like this nice weather. Isn't this really wonderful? Oh, it's great. You know, in Nebraska, last winter, it was so cold in Nebraska that I saw a lawyer with his hands in his own pocket. <laughs> That's no kidding. That was cold. Terribly cold, terribly cold. Our next shoot is also brought to us from Kansas, the Lynn Manufacturing, Titan West, and we've got a uh, we've got a young fellow named Rhett Wheatmeyer. Rick, Rick, brand new to our show, and so uh, tell us a little bit about the Titan West shoot, Rick. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you all for coming out this morning. Uh, it's always good to have a good crowd here to enjoy the show and watch the shoots work side by side. Uh, this is our cattle care chute. It is manufactured by Titan West in Lynn, Kansas. Uh, this chute is equipped with the neck extender, uh, the rubber floor with the quiet package, the window louvers with a palpation door uh, on the left side here. We also have a variation of different hydraulic chutes just right here south of the uh, tent. Uh, come by and take a look and uh, my, me, myself, or Odie, or Dale can uh, show you around and answer any questions. Thank you. Okay, our next shoot, the guy's name is Glenn Clifton. 
Now, Glenn's got, here he is, here he is. Uh, this guy has got the only man I know in the United States that disarmed a state patrolman. All right. They were going to the uh, Cattleman's Ball in Nebraska, and the huge stopped by for a, a beverage uh, of some kind, a beverage of some kind. And on the way to the Cattleman's Ball, they spotted a rattlesnake on the road. Now his wife and their, her friends were in the other car. He and a bunch of guys says, it's time to kill that rattlesnake. So snake guy here, get your, get your, get your gun out and he's gonna shoot that rattlesnake. Well, after a couple of beverages, his, uh, his, his aiming ability wasn't too good. And he missed the snake. I did. And it made the snake mad, real mad. Only had two shots. Well, you had way more kinds of shots than that before you got in the car. Yeah, yeah, you were you were shot pretty good before you got in the car. And anyway, uh, uh, the state patrol comes up and says, "What's going on?" He says, "I'm trying to kill that snake." Here, give me your gun. Can you imagine anybody in their right mind asks the state patrolman for his gun? This guy did. Not only that, the patrolman gave him the gun. And you shot the snake. One shot. One shot. You better gun than I got. Yeah, well, yeah, he would. <laughs> well, and, and, well, yeah. Anyway, Glenn Clifton represents Balin Manufacturing with this shoot over here. And I've worked with Glenn, and he helped me with my Calumet's ball and stuff like that back in, back in almost 1999, 1999. So, Glenn, give us a rundown on the Balin shoot. Thanks, Joe. I'm kind of glad it's the last day here, folks. But <laughs> take this abuse. <laughs> Anyway, this is our HMD hydraulic chute. Of course, it squeezes from both sides. Hydraulic head catch, hydraulic tailgate. I'm with Balin Country. We have the big booth here, just south of us on the corner. Come by, see what we all have. Stock tanks, waters, feed troughs. Uh, we're, we carry a little bit of everything. So come by and take a look at our products or come down here and ask us some questions after this. Thank you. Thanks, Glenn. And our final shoot, hey, we finally found a shoot made in Iowa. First tour in Kansas, Nebraska. We finally found a shoot made in Iowa, the foremost manufacturing company out of Hayward, Iowa. Hayward, Iowa. And we got Davis. And we got Heath Davis here to tell us all about it. So, Heath, give us a rundown on this Iowegian shoot. Thanks, Doc. We got the foremost model 750 hydraulic shoot here for the demo. With this shoe, you got the optional belt cage in the back, the optional head sweep out front, which holds a head still for implant, ear tag. You got a nice area for neck injection here, and the neck bar is over behind the head gate. Both sides of the chute squeeze in in a parallel fashion, you get a nice tight grip on that animal. Both sides also open for side exits. We have a full booth right here, just the north side of the shed. Uh, manual chutes, head gates, scales, tubs, and alleys. Stop by and see us. Thank you. Okay, folks, we're going to start with Heath's chute. So, as you're wondering, is we're going to start with the first two. Now, we these cattle are from Iowa State University. They've already had all their shots, so they really don't need any of that. They don't need it. All we're going to do is catch them, show you how the shoot works, then we'll release them. What Heath will want you to watch on his particular shoot, notice how the front slides open. It's a vertical slide. Right? Now then, those two bars out there in front are also neck extenders. So the sweep arm, by that taking that sweep arm and going over like that, if you had to give an implant in the ears, or you give a balling gun, or a, a tattoo tag, or anything like that, notice how that head sweep arm just holds that head over there, just very motionless. Uh, they can't throw their head up and down and all that kind of stuff. So if I'm on the wrong side for this one, so get over here. All right. And so when we get through the show, folks, and you want to come back here and run these shoots and look them up real close while we're going to let you. But, but on this shoot, for vaccination purposes, I can stick my hand back here or I can give the shot right here. Because most all the shots we give now are in the muscle, right? in the neck. See, I can, I can give this critter over here. Over. See, I can do this. I can, put it, I can give the shots right there or I can give it right back here. They're, they're just a multitudes of ways. That one just went by a minute ago. All right. Okay, our next shoot is in Columbus, New Nebraska, the Bayland Manufacturing. Uh, Glenn, Glenn's running it. 
Now on this particular shoot, notice that they have a solid panel for the head to fill it over here. This arm also is hydraulic and swing the head over and hold it right against there. Or this can be switched, not on this one right here, but in the other case they've got, they can switch that arm to the left or to the right. Once that gets in there, they can, also, they can drop the side panels, they can drop the flooring out of it. And there's a big area back in here for vaccination. I'm going to say it's probably pretty near a uh, foot wide back here on either side to hit that neck region. We can get our two cowboys back there. Uh, we need what we call some electronic stimulation. But these are Iowa cattle, so in Nebraska, they would be probably halfway to Nebraska from here. Here. There we go. Talk to it nice. Glenn, are you saying something nice, Glenn? These, <laughs> there we go. All right, now notice. Hold this calf's head over like that now, that boy, what an ideal way. You can give the balling gun and ear tag, tattoo, uh, just a wonderful way. Then to give the shots, you can give the shots right here, but there's really a nice area right back here. And all those shots can fit right there, and they're almost subcutaneous shots. Go back in there and shot like that. When this fist gate opens, instead of sliding like this, this gate actually is, it acts like a, a, a V, a scissors. Okay. Shall we catch you another one? Now in Nebraska, in Nebraska, when we do this, there we go. In Nebraska, we do this. We give them lots of shots, and we do them. They, they, they're not, they're not happy when they come out of the shoot. But we put a bunch of holes in them, and uh, they've, 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 they've said some naughty things about us. Anyway, that's how. We're... Okay. Next shoot is our Titan West. A Kansas shoot, made down in Lynn, Kansas, by the Lynn Manufacturing Company. This particular shoot has has blinders on this side. This critter can't see me over on this side because all these blind. I can see him, but he can't see me. All right, now this this neck extender is a rather unique compared to what we have in the other shows. Notice how the two parallel bars come out and just push straight out on this. Now look at the area for vaccination. What a beautiful spot right there. Critter also. Every now and then we what there used to be a there used to be a bar up here to keep the cattle from going, going up and down with their neck. But this this is the neck extender. I kind of played a joke on the guy that Glenn uh, when I first came out with this shoot, I had some I went to the slaughterhouse and got some cow ears. I had it and I had it here. Now, so let's see how that next held out there like that. And uh, there used to be rubber, used to be rubber notches. We got plus we're picking them off or something. Anyway, right there, what a beautiful spot for vaccinations. And, and uh, if you want to let them out on either side, they can do let them out on either side, left or right. Okay, the final shoot is a silencer made down in Durant, Kansas. The silencer also has blinders on this side. They can't see me on this side. He's got everything padded with rubber so Now this particular head, you can stretch the head straight out, or to the left, or to the right, whichever way you want. It's all hydraulic. It's called the silencer. Notice how this head gate opens like a uh, head gate opens like a covered door or something like that. See, one, one slides, one's a V. This one happens to be. Uh, now there's the neck right, and you can push it over to the left, or you can push it both out, they both straight out, and give the shots where you want. That's the way they, <laughs> then of course when they squeeze the back back there, we can give them the shots. Any questions and stuff, folks, uh, that's a quick part of our show, it doesn't last very long because we don't do any of the processing. We don't do any of the processing, so uh, those of you, thank you for showing us, for us sharing your uh, uh, time with us. Come on back. There are shooting operators. Let's go. Let you run the levers, look all the cows, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show because uh, it rains like crazy here on Tuesday. Anyway, uh, come on back and talk to them.
An excellent and very simple feature is these blinders. As animals walking in, they can't see you because the little pieces of rubber are blocking their view. But as you're looking in at them, you can see exactly where they are at all times. Very, very simple feature, and it's something that could be used in in uh, old crushes at home.